When a dog is in prey drive, getting them to recall, forget it. Thor, here! This is the type of scenario where if that chicken ran out into the street, he'd be chasing after that chicken. You're not getting your dog back like this unless you have a proper recall. When we're all said and done, he will recall off of a chicken, a cat, squirrel, it doesn't matter, he's gonna recall. All right, one of the first steps to start charging up your dog's recall is first things first, you gotta get them away from you. How do we do that? Piece of food, touch the nose, stay free. They're gonna go eat that food. After they eat that food, go Thor, here. On the way back, we mark with a clicker or a voice saying yes. We walk backwards, they drive into us, and we give them four, five, or six pieces. Pieces. One piece on the way out, four, five, six pieces. Thor here on the return. Getting back to you always pays the big bucks. Now, why would they come back to you? Well, if your dog's hungry and they're only getting one piece, they know where they gotta go for the good stuff. Guess who's got it? This guy right here. Thor here. We start to charge that name up. That name means get to me. I have amazing things for you. Now, remember, do this in a safe environment. Do this in an enclosed backyard. Maybe have a long line on your dog and don't overdo this, folks. Don't do this for 30 minutes and gas your dog out. Make it short, fun, exciting, fire session. 30 seconds, maybe up to two or three minutes and then call it done. Do that over the next few days, a couple of fire sessions and we'll start to condition your dog that when they hear their name, come running back to mom or dad. All right, folks, before we dive any deeper into this video, I have to give you a word of caution. Please don't think you can watch a 10 minute YouTube video and master the recall overnight. That's not how it works. It requires many, many reps, many, many sessions over many, many days and weeks to achieve that 100% reliable off-leash recall. If you really wanna get your dog trained to the highest level possible, then you gotta come on over to DIYK9.com and check out the Unleashed course. For those of you who do go over there and check it out, the first 30 people that head over to DIYK9 and select the Unleashed course, put it in your cart. Put in the coupon code RECALL30. That's RECALL30 and you're gonna get 30% off the Unleashed course. Again, only available for the first 30 people without further ado, let's start getting these dogs to have an amazing recall. Let's get into it. The restrained recall is one of the most powerful ways to train your dog or puppy to haul ass when they hear their name called. Let me demonstrate what it looks like. Aria, when you're ready, go ahead. Door, here. And you can see he literally gets airborne shooting out of the hole to go towards the person that's calling him. I'll demonstrate it one more time and kind of walk and talk you through the process. Thor, here. Get him into this heel position, and we're gonna treat him like a slingshot. I'm gonna pull back right after she calls him. I'm only gonna release when he drives forward with everything he has. Door, here. There we go, and he shoots out of the hole, and that's exactly what we're looking for. We're gonna condition that when you hear your name called, you gotta haul ass and drive to the person that's calling you. One of the best recall games you can play with your dog or puppy is what we call the triangle of death. Let me show you how it works. Door, here. Now, typically, if you're recalling your dog, you're using two people. What happens is, is after he eats food from her, he'll typically come back to me. But now we bring in a third person. He actually has to listen and pay attention to who's calling. So allow me to demonstrate. Thor, here! Rather than just running straight to her and back to me, we can now bring a third, fourth, or fifth option. We'll pay there. And then another interesting thing with this game is he might start going towards her or towards me. Call him. We get him to change direction halfway through, big payment for that, which helps condition him that you might be heading north, but I might recall you back south. Teaches him to turn around and go back to the person who's calling him. Door! Good job, baby doll. All right, folks, now we're gonna move on and show you how we use the leash and the e-collar to start to bring about reliability in the recall. I say, what are you talking about? Well, just think about it for a minute. What power, what weight does your voice really have if, in this case, an 80 plus pound Rottweiler is chasing after a ball, a bird, or whatever? Will your voice really stop physically all of that momentum and make it turn around and come back to you? No, not right off the bat, it won't. Even if you do all the work that leads up to this point. But let me ask you this instead. What if we took a leash, we hooked it up to a collar, in this case, just the flat collar, and should the dog be out chasing something, would you be able to use the leash to reel him in with 100% reliability? Yeah, I hope so. That's what the leash was invented for. So if the leash has the ability to have 100% reliable ability to reel your dog in or physically make them recall, then the e-collar is just a digital version of the same thing if and only if it's properly conditioned. So let's go ahead and talk about using this leash, how you might do it. We're going to throw the food out while he's out there eating. We're just going to have a little tap as soon as he's finished eating, which means come back to me and get paid. So we're just introducing that the leash pop, you're not in trouble. It's just a little pop on the leash that says, come on back to me. Now, once that's looking clean, then you just pair that with your voice. What does that look like? Free, Thor, here, pop. Yes. So now my voice is starting to take on the power of the leash. This is gonna be a true recall. I'm gonna throw the food a little further and I'm gonna shorten the leash by a little bit. I'm gonna recall him with my voice. Should he choose not to listen to me, he has no choice but to listen to me because the leash is gonna back up my voice. Free, Thor here. 
You see how it worked? He heard what I said, didn't quite have a lot of time to process it, but he was still going for the food. But the leash backed up my voice and now he's learning. Ah, when Garrett calls me, if I don't recall, I won't be able to get the food anyways. I won't be able to get the duck bird, cat, squirrel anyways, because his voice is backed up by the power of the leash. Pretty cool trick. Now, once that's mastered, you can then use the leash and everything we've built up to this point and basically layer in the e-collar. Now, this is a very advanced concept, too advanced for us to teach in this short video. If you wanna find out more of how we do that to the highest degree possible to have your dog have the utmost reliability in an off-leash recall, I highly, highly recommend you check out our Unleashed course available at DIYK9.com. But I'm gonna go ahead and show a little glimpse behind the scenes while he's out there eating the food beep, come on back you can even see his head kick just a little bit you can tell when we're using it I'm giving a verbal beep let me not do that yes now we're just conditioning when you feel the e-collar it's not a hammer it's a party baby and it's a party that means come on back to me and we can celebrate together now once you properly condition this e-collar over many many sessions we can get to a point where the digital leash carries the same power and weight as the leash and ultimately all of these tools combined all of these exercises combined build you up to have an empowered voice a voice that's backed up by all of these tools all of these techniques and gives you a 100 percent off leash reliable dog stick around for the end because now we're going to show you in really proof we have to see has all of this work built up to a point that we can truly trust him off leash in what we can consider the highest level of distraction we call it a d10 level distraction for your dog it could be food it could be a cat bird squirrel car you name it in his case it's another dog and now we want to really see if i can recall him off the highest level of distraction using my voice and my voice alone all right now for the ultimate test thor is now fully trained and has a recall has have the e-collar charged up on that recall just in case we need it that's what it's there for let's show you what it looks like yes Thor here good boy this is exactly what we want and we'll do it one more time he's in the middle of playing this is the most difficult thing I would say for him to do and stop doing is playing Thor here Come on, lazy bones. Good job. And if he's a little short on coming back, that's where we could use e-collar, but he's making his way back. Thor, here. Good job, buddy. Exactly what we needed. Now that's what's gonna give him that off-leash freedom so that he can play with her. He can do whatever he wants. And as long as I have these tools at the ready, this is exactly what we need. This is what's gonna give him tremendous freedom. This is what's gonna give me peace of mind. Should a deer come running out of the woods, some rabbit pops out of the bushes, or they go chasing something, I have a 100% reliable, guaranteed recall all day, every day. And that's all we can ask for for our dog to give them the ultimate freedom. All right, folks, now hopefully you've got a glimpse behind the curtain to see what What's required to charge up that amazing off-leash reliable recall? And yes, the recall is that number one command that you need to have in your dog training arsenal. It's the number one command that's gonna help keep your dog safe. God forbid it's chasing after something out into the street or who knows where. And so get that recall mastered and start it day one. And we're here to help you learn how. If you wanna find out more, if you really wanna dive into the details and get it right the first time, you gotta check out our courses available at DIYK9.com where we take a lot more time and show you step-by-step all the sub steps required so that you understand exactly what you're doing and you can take your dog from zero to hero. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.